Welcome to the Slow Home Studio. Today we're continuing on our discussion with part two of how to detail window mullions. Yeah, and before we get to the actual details, I do think it bears discussion that a lot of people think about window mullions from the outside. And they think about them as little details. You know, if you're going to be drawing a window and you want it to look traditional, you put lots and lots of little mullions in them. Or if it's a modern house, you try and minimize them. And really, they're thought about as a kind of appearance issue from the outside of the house. But what we're arguing is that you also need to think about them from the inside. And how does that relate to the overall visual character of the house and, and relate to the other architectural elements? And this is particularly important if you're doing something that is more minimal and more contemporary. Yeah, I completely agree. I think that if you don't pay attention to it from the inside, you have to look at your viewing angles, sitting and standing. Plus, you have to have some sort of visual consistency on the inside around corners and between rooms. Really, really important. So we brought another example from the same project that we looked at before and this is a shot of the bedroom and this was a, a challenge to uh, to detail these window mullions because we had the same issues to contend with we had to include openers and then we also had to deal with the scale of the room and so the first move that we did is we decided that we were going to set an ordinance line that actually worked from the millwork around the corner to create a line that was set to the scale of the height of the bed. That's right. And that does a couple of things. First of all, you'll notice that it provides a kind of visual balance to the whole room. But it's not just about vision or visuals. It's also about how one is in the room. If you're, if you're you know, six feet tall like I am or five feet like you are, uh, and you're looking out the window. I'm not five feet. <laughs> you're looking out the, out the window, and yeah, you can look out this way. This is only an eight foot high ceiling as opposed to the other space, which is 10 feet. So you really, if you put a, an upper mullion up there, you're going to be looking right at it, and that would just be awful. I find that to be an irritant when the mullion line is right in your line of sight. I mean, that's something that people do all the time, and they don't really think about it. You really want it to be clear, right? And then the other issue, too, of course, is the openers. And of course, in this bedroom, you want to have the openers, a couple of them. So one here, one around the corner. And they don't have to be huge opening windows. They just have to vent a little bit. So remember, once again, you really want to pay attention to those interior mullions when you're designing a well-designed contemporary house. See you next time.